Now, therefore, whether you are thinking about the total or the original makes a really big difference if you're trying to find the GST. Okay. So, for example, to find GST from the original price. Okay. You have a choice. You can say this in a lot of different ways, but we're going to be doing the same calculation every time. You told me that this GST is a tenth, right? It's a tenth of um, this whole original. In fact, if you've got the space there, you may even like to number these. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parts over here. So therefore, if I were dividing, right, from the original price, I'm going to divide that by... 10, and that will give me the GST, if that's what I want to find, okay? So from the original price, divide by 10. Now, dividing by 10 is not the same as what you said before, or it doesn't sound the same anyway. Um, you told me it was 10%, right? 10%. So instead of dividing by 10% as an alternative, what I could do is I could multiply, sorry, I said divide by 10%. Instead of dividing by 10, I can multiply by 10%. These are the same things. But the reason why it's helpful to have this here is because you'll be working out in a second, other countries don't have such a nice neat number, 10%. They might have a um, GST or a value added tax, a VAT, um, of all kinds of weird and wonderful different percentages, like 11.5% or 7.9% or anything like that. There you go. So every different country around the world, if you've got a different percentage, you just want to slot it in here. It's much easier, okay? But for our intents and purposes, it's a lot easier to think of dividing by 10. You don't have to worry about the percentage part. It also makes this next thing a lot easier. If you don't want to find the GST from the original price, but instead from the total price, this is something that we in Australia do very frequently because remember I said, the GST is included already, usually, okay? So we're usually seeing the total price not the original price. So this is something we see much more. Now, looking at our diagram over here, right? You've got your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 original parts. And then the GST is kind of like the 11th part. Does that make sense? So now, think about, you've got the whole thing there, right? What you're seeing is the blue and the little green chunk all together. If you want to find the GST, now you don't divide by 10, do you? Because there aren't 10 chunks, there are... 11 chunks. Does this make sense? So this is, the textbook calls this the rule of thumb. Um, all it means is, well, you've got 11 pieces now. So don't divide by 10. Divide by 11. Okay, does this make sense? So if what you've been given is a price that's X GST, excluding GST, then divide by 10 and add that on. If you've got a price that's including GST, it's already added on, you've got the total. Don't divide by 10, divide by 11. And you can see why. It's the 11th part. Okay, now, this is if you want to find GST. The last two things you need to do is sometimes you want to convert between these, original and total. You don't really care about the individual price of the GST. You just want to work out what's one based on the other. Okay? So if you want to calculate the total from the original, Okay, so you bought something, you're, you're a business that sells things, you bought this wholesale, you didn't pay GST on it, but now you're about to give it to consumers, and you're like, well, I've got to work out how much I've got to charge these people, so I can give the government the right amount, okay? So you've got the original price, you want to calculate the total. I could, of course, just work out the GST and add it. That would be two steps, though. I, I don't want to do that. I just want to go directly there, okay? So instead of dividing by 10, then adding that, I'm going to multiply... Now, I've got a choice. You know, up the top, how we said multiply by 10%? That just gives you this little bit. Well, if I want to include this, if this is 10%, this is the original, 100%, I can do the 100% and the 10% all in one hit, just by doing 110%. Okay? So you can just dutifully punch into your calculator times 1, 1, 0%. Alternatively, if you're like, I don't know what to do with the percent button, right? instead of multiplying by 110%, what's that just as a decimal? 1.1. 1.1, very good. So you can multiply by 110%, multiply by 1.1, same effect. Okay, uh, last one, if I want to reverse things, okay? If I want to calculate the original, 
from the total. And actually, I literally do this like every week. Whenever I order something, the price that I see on the website, it's, you know, it's the total price. That's what websites always advertise because they're always including the GST. But I need to know the original amount because as the manager of the maths faculty budget, I don't actually have to pay the GST. The school will pay it for me. Mr. Oh, Johnson sort of set aside funds for that, okay? So therefore, I see the total price, but I only want the original. So if this is how you go from total to original, right? And I want to now do it in reverse. What should I do instead of multiplying? Divide. I should divide. Ah, that's a great question. Okay, can I just multiply by ninety percent or point nine? Okay, now the short answer is no. But the real question is why not? Doesn't it seem like it should work? Okay, now just think about this for me. In fact, put your pens down. Let's think about the effect of multiplying by 0 0.9 or, or multiplying by 90%. Okay, I'm so glad. It's like I planted you, but I didn't, right? Um, what effect does this have, okay? Well, let's think about this. It's the last dot point we're talking about, right? It's like, look, you see the total price and you want to work out what the original is. So you want to remove the GST out of that, okay? Now, if you multiply by 90%, right, that's like taking your price and slicing it up into 10 chunks and taking one away. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. It's like, look, here are 10 chunks and I only want nine out of the 10. Do you agree? Does that make sense? So what I've do done is I've removed 10%. But my question is, 10% of oh, what? What is the 10% that I've, 10% of what that I've taken out? The and the answer is, it's, it's the total price that I'm looking at. Right? It's the total price I'm looking at, the bigger number. Okay? So let's just think about this with actual numbers. Okay? This is a bit hard, it's a bit abstract. Suppose I want to buy... Uh, hmm. Okay, let's, see, let's keep it simple. Um, I don't know how much the new iPhone 7 costs, but I'm sure there's some model that's pretty close to $1,000. Okay? So let's pretend... Does anyone know? Is that about? Okay, there you go. So this is... Funnily enough, that means it's um, probably including GST, right? So let's imagine this as our original. Okay. So I want to add on my 10% now. I want to go from, I want to calculate total from this original. So I'm going to multiply it by 110%. That's going to give me 1,100. So this is my total. Okay. Now, you don't even need a calculator for this, right? Think about it. Come on. These are easy numbers. If you did this, if you multiply by 0.9, if you multiply by 90%, um, multiply by 90%, that's going to become $990. But that's not what I came from. Why, isn't, why didn't I get straight back? Because maths, okay, come on, think with me, right? Remember I said to you, what's the 10%? You, you just locked 10% off of this. Okay, you locked 10% off. When you added 10%, it was 10% of this number. Do you agree? And then you took off 10%, but the 10% you took off was not 10% of this number, it was 10% of this number, which is bigger, which is bigger, right? Whether it's bigger or smaller, the point is it's not the same 10%. Percentages change based on how big or small you are. That's kind of the whole point of a percentage, okay? So that's why, no, don't do that. Please don't do that. Okay, it's a very common mistake to make, so, which is why I'm so glad it got asked. Instead, you want to divide by this, or divide by 1.1. Does that make sense? 